the new news, she's slaying the city. No makeup, just wake up and still giving the free. Get the lights, camera, and she cuts as big as a movie. And grab a seat and now tune with disastrous beauty. I think even on the stock card, 
the model on this side is not using the baby hairs. Can you see it? So, yeah, it's just purely up to you. And I feel like that is pretty much it as far as the details and space go with this unit. Now, if you're interested in my pros and cons, as well as a full 360 and lint check, then please continue to watch. All right, so my con with this unit would be the fact that I feel like the hairline could stand to look a little more, you know, could have been tweezed a little more or something, something to make it look a more look more natural. I feel like um, I've gotten Outre units, uh, like from the Melted Hairline Collection. Is this from that collection? Child, I hope not. Okay, it does say HD Transparent Lace, but I feel like the ones from the Melted Hair Collection, the hairline just looks more natural, even though it's a lace part wig, it still has a more natural look. So that is my con with this unit. My pros with this wig is first of all, I love this color. I think this color is everything. It is right on trend for the skunk stripe. I know some of y'all don't like the skunk stripe trend, but I feel like with this color, it just really looks good. Like Cynthia, I think even you would like this color, girl, okay? So I really love that. I like that, you know, you're able to get into the trend without, you know, having a human hair wig. I like that a lot of the synthetic companies are, you know, going with the trend for, to make it more affordable for people. So that is one of my pros. Another pro is I love the length. I love the layers. I love the overall style of this unit. So that is also a pro for me as well. Would I recommend, oh girl, Child, let me look at the price and I'll be right back. Personally, right now with how much synthetic wigs are these days, yes, I would recommend the unit. Uh, I do still feel like it's a little, you know, expensive for a lace part synthetic wig, but honey, this is just kind of where we at these days. So I would recommend it because it's still under $50. Like I think um, it'll be, it says $39.94. So, you know, it's under $40 technically. So yeah, I would personally recommend this wig, but I think it just kind of depends on you. I, I do feel like they have units that look like this that are cheaper, but maybe you won't be able to get, you know, this color. So it just depends on you. But I personally would recommend it. I feel like she's worth the coin. All right, honey, let me give you guys this full 360 and lint check so we can wrap this thing all the way up. So this is obviously the unit in the front. This is it on the left side. This is it in the back. And this is it on the right side. All right, y'all. So let me know down below what you guys think about this unit. Let me know if you're feeling it. Let me know if you agree with my pros and cons. Let me know if you agree with me recommending it. Let me know down below in the comments. I am interested in hearing you guys' thoughts and opinions. And um, if you are interested in purchasing this unit, I will have a direct link to it down below in the description box for your convenience. And yeah, girl, <laughs> that's all. That's all. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or you feel like I may have left out, feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, girl, click the subscribe button. It's not gonna cost you not one red cent. And if you're not ready to follow me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and TikTok. I'm Helton and C on Snapchat, and I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you, love bugs, next time. Bye.